Guys, how are you? It's been so long. So much time has passed. So much stuff has happened. So much to explain. I invite you to come. Come with me. Be my ear. Be my soulmate. Yeah. Owen Wilson, yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking around. Yo, been a minute since we've been up in it. And I'm not going to apologize for it because I've been going through some shit. And by that I mean moving and within moving came a fuck ton of difficulties and challenges and still to, to like just right now for me to have this opportune moment to do this is kind of rare. So it's just been a bit of a headache, uh, but definitely like positive things, good things moving forward. Um, very like happy with my new situation. It's just working out with the little kinks and the details and I'll detail you all about it. Um, obviously, I'm going to do a mukbang today. I've never done one alone. Or did I do one alone? No, I don't think so. I, the first one I did was with my girlfriend, which we can touch on that too. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, I didn't know what the fuck I was going to do today. I just, this window of opportunity came upon my, came upon us and uh, I just, I just figured fuck it. Like I'm just going to wing it. Really gonna wing it today. Don't like that joke? Too cheesy? Lots of sticks? What's up? Right here. No pull to them, cause I they all leaked out. It's a leaky pipe. A cheesy leaky pipe. Pretty bullshit. They're store bought. What do you expect? Also, I cooked them at the start when I put the wings in, and I thought, oh yeah, they'll be ready at the same time. It's like, dude, wings take so much longer. What are you trying to do? I'm like, I don't know, man. And then I got an argument with myself. And we resolved it. We're good now. I might get lucky if like two of these have filling. Anyways, I pulled them out halfway, I left them to the side, finished the wings off, and then put them back in for like a re, a quick reheat. Um, <clears throat> these wings are nothing special. They're just like I said, store bought uh, buffalo. Uh, they were pre-sauced, that's a packaging error on their part because I think you should just give dry wings and then put buffalo sauce on the side so you can just sauce them yourself after they're cooked because when you cook them with the sauce on them, it just dries up and goes away. So anyways, also got this uh, sweet onion chipotle barbecue, which I guess should be probably pretty good, I'm hoping. And then obviously Hidden Valley Ranch. You gotta have a ranch with wings, classic combination. If you don't do it, I don't know who you are. Um, I don't know who you are because I just never met you, but still. Um, it's gotta be Hidden Valley. If it's not, you're just, you're selling yourself short. You need to get on to what is hot and what is hot is Hidden Valley. Um, okay, I think we should start eating probably and then I'll tell you some shit. Also, I've got the bowl here for the bones. I had one already. I forgot that I had like another bunch of videos on my phone from like old stuff of mukbang and that. So my phone was like, no, I can't record anymore. And I was like, perfect, already started eating. So everything's getting colder and colder. And I've been talking for four minutes, so shut the fuck up and eat. Okay, perfect, moving on. Great, thank you. Really good, yeah. It's driving my girlfriend. That's my own Wilson, by the way. I'm just, I don't know where it came from, why I'm doing it, but I love it lately. So, uh, yeah. All right, let's get one of these wings directly in the ranch. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm all about the wing part, like the flat guy. I don't, can't remember if that's just called the wing or not, because I know the whole thing is technically the wing and that flies away but um i prefer that over the drumstick i know that this i think is pretty much just called the drumstick but then again i could be wrong as well i'm not a fucking food connoisseur uh i should know more than this but i don't all right 
Nice and saucy. Oh fuck, I forgot. Napkins and fuck. I forgot paper towel or napkins. What a grade eight move, that is a rookie mistake. I'm sorry, I actually just have to get up and like go right there by directionally challenged when it's backwards. By the light, there's a uh, paper towel. Yikes. Okay, just going away, bear with me. Guys, I'm still here. Sorry guys. Oh yeah, look at all that paper. Oh, mad stacks. Oh. Back into position. So many stacks. I can call me Birdman out this bitch. Okay. All right, we're back, we're situated, we're having fun, we're doing cool stuff, it's loud, it's a mukbang bang boom thing. All right. From jump, I'm actually pretty impressed with these wings. Uh, just given that they're store-bought box wings, like, not too bad. Pretty nice, like, when I cook them, I go extra on the time frame, like, the box says whatever time, and I don't adhere to it, because I find they come out, just still kind of like, the meat's like, it's just like wobbly, like, it's just jiggly, and I like my chicken to be a little more, more dry, like, I like my chicken on menopause, just nice and dry, essentially, is what I'm saying. Is what I'm really getting at without trying to beat around the bush. But yeah, I much prefer the wingy part to the drumstick because Sometimes, these ones, not always, depending on what, like, the brand you get or where you are. If it's a quality wing, you might not run into the problem. But even, in a, even at some restaurants and stuff, it's like, on those, like, drum parts, there's just, like, you run into the issue of what I like to call, like, Franken meat. And it's, like, antibiotic up, like, just franken meat like you kind of don't know what it is like it's a, it's a cartilage is it like a tumor not sure probably don't want to eat that so maybe you do want to eat it. maybe you want to keep eating it because you're starving or you paid for it but that's a good gauge of you knowing about how much of a real piece of shit you are And I mean this in the way that a lot of us are. We're all real pieces of shit sometimes. Just to varying degrees. Um, <laughs> when, you, when you eat shitty, shitty food, and what I mean by shitty, shitty food is like, this is shitty food. This is like low quality, cheap, like no name brand bullshit food that you shouldn't really probably even eat. And then when you cook it and you taste it and it tastes like shit, <clears throat> it's shitty, shitty food. And then you keep eating it. That's how you know you're a real piece of shit. And it's one of the ways to gauge, but hey, 
No judgment here. I'm a real degenerate. Big time, low life. Sometimes. Not always. But I don't have very high standards for a lot of stuff. So. It's all gravy, baby. Yeah. As much as it's like. Just all stiff up. Like they're just. No fucking string to them at all. There's like a good good one night stand. No strings attached. None at all. But I don't do that anymore. Because I have a girlfriend. And we did a mukbang together. Which you guys saw and watched. We were pretty drunk. It was super random, very spur of the moment. But it was fun times. We said some funny shit, some dumb shit. Had a couple cute moments. I do want to say thank you though to everybody who commented on it and like, it was all positive. There was no real like shitty, bitchy people or anything, so. Anytime you avoid that on YouTube, it's just like a fucking golden star victory, polish up your trophy and you win, because I'm going to talk about degenerates and real pieces of shit. People on YouTube, commenters on YouTube are just horrendous human beings sometimes, but you know, life is about a balance and there's always going to be the light and the dark. Evil and good, stupid idiots and conscious human beings who know what the fuck's going on because they're awake and aware and have the ability to see things from multiple, multiple perspectives and not from like a sorry, woe is me, uneducated, ignorant, bullshit, idiot perspective, which by the way, is what trolls are so don't really let them affect you if you do have a channel what are they doing they're doing nothing so at least you're doing something trying to do something a passionate moment okay oh yeah i wouldn't get any fancy liquid for this just uh one hydrogen, two oxygens. Bobby Boucher's uh, favorite passion, water. I'm gonna try this sweet onion chipotle barbecue. It just kind of caught my eye off the shelf. I just love chipotle anything really, except for chipotle, the actual chain restaurant. But the flavor, that chipotle, like, pep like the pepper or whatever. I like that, like sweet potato fries with like chipotle sauce and Oh my god. I'm such a pussy. There we go. Yeah, like, but it was like a dollar seventy-seven, pretty hot deal. So I figured I'd give it a try. Since I can oh fuck, I poured way too much. Make sure you get the gooey gooey off the side, cause. It's going to create problems for you down the line. It's going to overflow and turn into like a sauce booger on the top of your bottle, which you don't want. They're gross. Regular boogers are gross. Any kind of booger is gross. So just avoid sauce boogers, real boogers if you can. But we're all human. We all breathe in dust. And we have hairs in our nose that do that for us. So it is what it is. I don't know how long this is going to be. We're already at 15 minutes. Okay, it sucks that I know I ate the majority of my favorite part, but I'm left with all the drums now, which is kind of really whack. Also, guys, just so you know, when you open a fresh bottle of something like this and it doesn't go 
Keep an eye out for that. Because I'm giving you fair warning. When you don't hear the when you open a new bottle or something like that, that means a rapist murderer has come into your local market, opened up that bottle, injected it with poison, followed you home to know where you live, to hopefully come back to find you very dead to follow up on the rapist part of his name as a rapist murderer. Okay? Just know that. That's what that means. I got very morbid very fast. Yes, I found one more, it's the last one, but it looks like it has a boo-boo and that it hurt its leg and that it might be one of those kind of icky ones that's broken inside and all like purple and nasty. Looks like I'm gonna get away scot-free on that one. Mm-hmm. Doing it and doing it and doing it well. In the words of Mr. LL Cool J. I believe, I think, that was his, one of his famed rap songs. Anyways, sorry for that last part. Got a little morbid uh, with the whole rapist murderer thing, but some sickles in the world. And This is another thing I've been struggling with lately about sickles in the world and morbid. There's morticians. People at the morgue. It's a terrifying thought to know that when you die, granted you die fairly naturally and your body is left in normal tact. These motherfuckers look like assholes. You're gonna end up on a cold steel bed, no blankets, no pillows, no comfort, freezing your ass off. You have shrinkage because you're cold and you're dead. And this motherfucker's standing there over you and he has the ability and power to do anything that they want to do. That's fucked up. I have a fear that when I'm dead and I have shrinkage, they're either gonna, they're probably gonna flick my dick, cut it off, and then maybe, I don't know from there what they're gonna do, but I just don't want them to do that. So, just another thought, just kind of strange. <sighs> okay, how do I save myself from that one? Because like, this guy is fucking strange. But these, like I said, this is why I want to do mukbangs, because like these are the thoughts that I have sometimes. They're terrifying. Like these are real life scenarios that happen to human beings. So that's kind of crazy. Um, so this, as you can see, it's kind of my it's my for now new setup. It's not uh Trying to find, see, there's like some sketchy Frankenmeats in these. Like, I don't, I don't really like you, sir. You look less intense and fat, so I'm gonna try you. Um, this is my new setup. It's just like it's my for now setup. Um, excuse me. It's pretty good. I dig it. Compared to my old one, it's like literally the fucking. Lazy boy setups. Like I just feel like so much more comfortable. Like I'm moving around. I'm not sitting on the ground in a weird position. I'm at like line level. You can see like the whole of my body plus the food. Just feel like 
you know? Back like in the 70s when they got the lazy boy, the TV dinner thing, and they were just like living the dream. Like it was just fucking everybody gather around. We're gonna throw on fucking whatever cool show from back then. Whatever was the hot one. Growing pains, probably, I guess, or something like that. And we're all just gonna lounge out, pull up a tray of Salisbury steak, corn and mashed potatoes. And just fucking get it in as a family. Like, you know? There's nothing like getting it in as a family. Like, when you have a good family vibe, you're all sharing a meal. Manja, manja. Everybody's in. We're getting satiated. We're happy. Whole crew's there. You know? Those are all good things. To elaborate though on like why my new setup has been a bitch. Um, it's unfinished, like there's still construction going on. The guys outside are like laying out in a courtyard, so they're like they're laying down the found the they're laying down bricks, so like dudes have been like cutting fucking stone and like there's beeping of trucks and for like twelve hours a day. Just my luck, the fucking unit beside me is uh, unfinished. So I've been from seven till six, seven a.m. till six p.m. I've been hearing power tools and hammering and just a lot of unfortunate stuff. That's really kind of grinding my gears. Um, especially because of the industry that I work in. I don't work, like I don't go to work in the morning. I don't get up at 6.30 or like to go to work. Like I sleep until like almost, you know, 12 p.m. or so. Maybe a bit later sometimes. And then I work from like 4 till 12 or, you know, 5 till 1, 2, 2 in the morning. So it's like super inconvenient for me to try getting fucking sleep around here. And yeah, just stressful. Like outside of that though, the place is dope. Like I'm very happy with it. Um, if you guys want me to do like a little tour video or something, I can show you the layout of the new digs. I got a nice little patio. I'm on the third floor, so I'm not too, too high up, which is actually kind of nice. I'd rather be closer to the ground just because it's, A, if there's a fire, you probably don't die. And B, it's just like a quicker elevator ride. And my patio is bigger due to the fact that I'm on a lower floor anyway. So like that's a kind of a bonus. So... Um, got a patio, like everything's all new. Um, space is good. Bathroom shower, all that shit's cool. Standard condo, like it's all that. It's got like a full gym and like a rooftop patio and like another side patio thing. And then it's got like this like, it's called the, the amenity, but it's essentially a party room. With a dog going ballistic outside right now for no good reason. Could be a good reason, I don't know. I don't know what he's barking at. Um, yeah, so it's, an, it's called Amenity, it's a party room. When I, when, I, when I went to go in, I was just like, I just thought it was being some very like standard thing, like very unassuming, but I went in there and holy fuck, dude. It's like, phew. it's like walking into fucking Jay-Z's crib. Like it's crazy, there's, it's insane. Uh, there's like, 70 inch flat screens, L couches in, in one part of the room, pool tables, uh, there's a patio off it, and there's another room called the social, which just looks like you go do cocaine in, essentially. There's like the main room, which is like where hoity-toity people would like sit and like have a cocktail by like the fireplace and like lean. Um, then there's like a main bar, like a full bar, and then there's like bottle service style booths sitting in, like are going around. Anyway, it's baller status as fuck, and I'm gonna probably try to book my birthday there, which is in about a month, uh, a month and a half. So that's a cool feature for sure. Um, yeah, unfortunately, these the last wings are fucking whack, dude. Like, like I said, I don't really like them. They're 
just low quality purchase wings and just really like uh, Franken meat, like like just growth hormones, HGH, what the fuck. Um, covered some shit in this video. Could have been weird at points, but it is what it is. I am who I am. Uh, my next video, I'll do something cool, and I actually have, so Estella Ruiz, like I mentioned, she, I said that she asked me a question, she actually asked me uh, a bunch of questions, and I'm going to answer them at some point, probably next video, didn't get around to them in this video, I don't want to go too long on this, um, if and there's anybody else out there with questions for me to add to them, please do, um, I'm going to slam this here water. And until next time, which I'll make fairly soon, stay cool.